we're performing a test today on power consumption on the Arduino platform to illustrate the effect of sleep mode on current consumption. The Arduino was never actually designed to run for long periods uh, on battery only as the linear regulators just draw too much current. So what we have here is the trigger trap. It's a universal Arduino camera trigger and it was designed from the ground up to consume as little power as possible. Powering up on the left side here by interrupting the battery we can see we have a current measurement. It's drawing 7.5 milliamps in uh, normal mode when it's on here. Uh, on the left side we can see our um, power cons our, our battery voltage. Uh, the power source being three AA batteries with a nominal capacity of about 2500 milliamp hours. Now the device sports uh, ATmega328 running at 8 megahertz, uh, an 8x2 LCD, Atmel touch controller, numerous analog sensors, there's a USB interface, uh, an IR LED, uh, optocoupler, etc, etc. Now it was intended to trigger on selectable conditions, light, time lapse, auxiliary, uh, laser, sound. For our test we're going to use the time lapse mode. We'll set the interval to uh, 7 seconds and when we press the start button it shuts off some of the components on the device and when the LED blinks indicating it's taken our first picture we can see it enters deep sleep mode here where it consumes just 0 0.63, 0 0.64 milliamps. Now given the nominal capacity of 2500 milliamps for the batteries we could probably expect just over five months of continuous runtime. Turn it back on and power consumption comes back on uh, as the uh, devices are enabled and the CPU is running at full speed. Now the device also has an interface timeout. If nothing's pressed within a certain amount of time it's going to enter sleep mode. Uh, it'll turn off the LCD, turn off the touch controller uh, by way of a high side uh, p-channel MOSFET and when it enters that mode as it will in a second here it will be consuming about 0.8, uh, 0.77 milliamps, 0.78 milliamps and that's all. In our next segment, we'll be focusing more on the hardware aspect of reducing power. Stay tuned until then.